Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! How you guys doing? Welcome to the end of October tier list. It's a video series that I've been doing since the game started. Every month I've been doing a tier list of what I think are the best character depends on the meta. Granted, this is a PvE game, so there's actually no meta. You can just play with any character you like. So you can just watch this video as something in the background or like, you know, have um civilized discussion in the comments please this is just an opinion okay so um i because there's a lot of characters this time in the game i made it where there is s s plus s plus plus and z <laughs> because there's a lot of character characters in the game i just don't want to like put all the characters in s and then there's like two or three characters in s plus i just, just want to map it out see who are the best for me for my experience in the game so yeah uh first character would be asta i did build asta because this is the <laughs> most wanted comment in all the tutorials video like you're not using asta how dare you put her in b and stuff like that so yeah i'm using asta she's a cool character to use uh i'm gonna put asta in s that's the first character to put here um next is herta She's still not that great, even though we have um, follow-up character Topaz, still not that great. Um, Bronya, it's very early uh, to have. Uh, I'm gonna put Bronya in S++, just an amazing support. Always, you're gonna have to put her in your team uh, if you have her and if you also have the Light Cone. And even if you don't, she's still an amazing character to use. Um, her and Teng Young are just... A really great value in your account even without dupes still amazing uh next is Seelay and um this one i wasn't actually sure how where i would rank Seelay just because of the content that we have right now in the game i'm only using Seelay in memory of chaos i really can't use her i mean I, some of that i can't just i don't prefer to use her anywhere else outside memory of chaos uh, outside the quantum team so for me i'm gonna put Seelay in s plus um you can make the argument that she's probably the best dps for single target still of course uh, but for me i just prefer to use other characters in other content so i wouldn't put her that high still s plus is amazing keep in mind you can still use any of these characters that i'll even put in d and they'll still perform well if you give them the right gear and the right team so yeah um next is serval she kind of fell off with uh with kafka i'll put her in b i don't really use kafka with any other uh nihility support i think kafka on, on her own is pretty amazing i'm just waiting for that next other five star that would you know let me chase to put with kafka on the nihility team but i wouldn't go for serval <laughs> honestly uh next is Jepard. um he has been really good his shield is very broken so i'll put him in s i can put him in s plus i just personally don't have him but when i see his gameplay he's really amazing uh i have fushuang so that's the other <laughs> uh preservation character that i rely on uh i would still love to get Jepard also as well even though i have fushuang so yeah he's still amazing of course like, if you're starting new player or you're gonna pick someone from the 300 selector, Jeport is a very good option to select. Especially that PlayStation players do not have access to Fushuang. He's still amazing to, to pick. Uh, next is Natasha. Um, I don't know. I don't know how, how I would rank Natasha, especially if you have Locha and Lynx or Beilu. <laughs> Um, and there's also another healer dropping next patch, which is Hu Hu. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but that's the character dropping next. Uh, her value keeps dropping for me, so I'm gonna put her in B. Even at E6, I'll still put her at B. And keep in mind, this whole list, with the 4 stars specifically, I'm putting them based on E6. I can tell you when there's like a broken 4 star based on like E0 or something where I'll put that, but most of them here are all i mean all of them are based on their e6 next character is pella and uh pella is just amazing especially if you have jingliu 
uh, or even any DPS, she's really amazing. I'll put her in S+. Plus. I will say this. <laughs> For me, E6 Pilla, I like using her more than Silver Wolf. So, yeah. Um, next character is Clara. I don't have her. <laughs> I don't have Topaz. But I see in showcases. Um, Blast, or sorry, AoE is, is good with Clara, I know. But it's just physical. I don't know. I don't know. I'll put Clara in S just because of all the Clara fans. <laughs> but for me, I'm just not really impressed by the unit. Unit design, okay? That's all I can say about Clara. Please, no one comment about Clara. Please, please, just have one tearless video without a Clara comment. Uh, next is um, Sampu. Uh, with the Nihility as well. I just don't like running Sampu. Or any other Nihility character. So I'll put him also in B. We have the full Rainbow uh, Nihility. We have uh, Gwenefen. We have Sampu. We have Pella. We have... Uh, what's her name? Luca. Who else? Uh, there is also... Uh, wait. Do we have another one? Do we have Silver Wolf? Yeah, we have. And also Welt. So we have all the colors for Nihility. I just don't like putting... I, I, I guess Silver Wolf is an exception. Or Welt. And the others, I just don't like them. I'm just waiting for another 5-star character to play with that team. Um, Physical Trailblazer. Trash. D. If there is something below D, I'll go there. Uh, Hook. I'll put her in C. Although she's putting a lot of damage if you invest in her. So if you want to build a fire team, of course, go ahead for it. Um, next is Locha. Our amazing healer. I'll put him in S++. He's just an amazing uh, healer you can always rely on. Um, next is Jing Yu Wang. <sighs> I like the character a lot. I like everything about Jing Yuang, except his kit and his light cone that I don't have. <laughs> so if I'm if I if I have his light cone, I'm probably gonna put him in S. But from my experience, without having the light cone and relying on the free to play light cone, I put him in A. Still, even with Topaz. So yeah, I took a friend Topaz today and tried to use him with uh, my Jing Yuang. It's not the greatest. It's like it's like using elation or like doing something to buff the follow up attack. It's just it's a slight increase in the damage. It's not that great for me. Uh, Yang Sheng. Single target value characters has kind of fell off unless you are Sealy who can put a lot of damage uh, and attack again. But with characters like uh, uh, Yang Sheng, uh, Su Sheng, uh, Wind Dan Hong. I'm just not impressed with them at the moment, with the content that we get, so I'm gonna put him in C. I know it's very low for a 5-star character, but he's probably the least impressive 5-star right now in the game. Um, next character is Beilu, an amazing healer with the revive. Keep in mind the new character I think have revive, I can't really say. I, I'm not gonna share her kit of course. So, uh, Beilu is amazing healer. Uh, and the revive can also come in clutch sometimes. But I'm gonna put her in A. Because if you have Japard, if you have Fu Shuang, uh, you might not need a healer <laughs> at this point. Just have one healer and rely on the preservation character on the other team. Uh, next is Tang Young. An amazing support, of course. S easy, easy. Uh, even if you don't have any dupes. But the E6, of course, amazing. Um, next is QQ. At E6, she's a demon. She's crazy. I have very minimum investment in her, and she still can put a lot of damage compared to Dan Hong and all, all the other characters uh, in the game. So I'll definitely put her in S+. Plus. Above Sile. I'm sorry. Um, E6. Uh, QQ is above... Sealy. My Sealy is E3, and I can tell you, when I use the same gear on both, I can see QQ outputting more damage. Um, Su Shang. 
again, single target. It's just not the greatest at the moment. So I'm going to also put her in... I don't, I don't want to put her in C. I'm going to put her in B. Um, I think I, I think she's she's better than Yang Sheng. Especially that I'm comparing these two as Su Sheng E6 and Yang Sheng E0. So yeah, I'll put Su Sheng at B. Very good single target DPS. It's just that single target is not the greatest at the moment. Far Trailblazer. Uh, still very good to rely on. I'm going to put also in B. Next is Yukong. Uh, pretty amazing support. If you don't have uh, Bronya and Ting Young, you can of course rely on her. Uh, I'm gonna put her in A, uh, but you need to have her with dupes, of course. So at E6, I'm gonna put her in A. You can make the argument to put her in S, but since she she needs a lot of gear management with your team, so you can make her go first, and then the next two goes gonna be two DPSs. So yeah, um, March seventh. Uh, amazing to use uh, also at 6 she can heal so that's something to keep in mind so I'll put her probably in B uh, I mean for the healing can count but I'll still put it in B uh, because the follow up that she can do with Topaz is not that great so you're not gonna really gain any damage from her but eh, it's if you want to use her of course you can use her but for me I think even with the heal, it's just not that great. So, yeah. Next is Wind Ten Hong. I would put him in C. Uh, single target. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> uh, Himiko. Probably B. Even with Topaz. Unfortunately, kind of disappointing still. Uh, I was... I was putting a lot of expectations that Topaz would just buff all the characters who has follow-up to... Like... <laughs> uh, like, at least... Himiko would be in S after Topaz release, but it's just the difference is not that huge. So yeah, I'm not really impressed. Uh, Welt, I'm going to put him in A. Amazing character to use. If you want to have fun with the simulated universe, you can always pick the Remembrance and go with Welt and just destroy everyone. Literally, the enemy won't attack you. It's very fun to use. Um, Kafka. This is tricky. Um... <laughs> uh, Initially, I want to put Kafka in S, but with the Swarm Disaster or even Normal Simulated Universe, I think the easiest run I had was with Kafka and Nihility Path. So I will put her in S+, just because she doesn't even need the full Nihility team to perform well. So just because of that, I'm going to put her in S+, because I just rem uh, reminded myself that my my first clear for the Swarm Disaster 5 without Inhibitor Lune was Kafka and it was the easiest run with Inhility. So yeah, I'll put her in S+. Uh, next is Silver Wolf. Amazing character. Um, just like Pella, but as I said, I like Pella more. Just because... Just because I like Pella more. <laughs> I don't have to explain, but... Uh, I just need to emphasize on like the needing, like where people said you need Silver Wolf for everything, especially Memory of Chaos. I have Silver Wolf, but I prefer not to use her just to test how, like how I can beat the content. And guess what? I don't really need to use Silver Wolf for anything. Either Swarm Disaster, Memory of Chaos, all the stars. I don't need Silver Wolf to put on the team. I just don't need to use her. But it's amazing to have. Definitely. So, I'll put her in S plus as well. But for me, I still think Pella at E6 is for me better. So yeah. Uh, next is Arlen. Wait, what happened? Oh yeah, she was here. Uh, Arlen is trash, of course. I don't need to say anything about Arlen. Uh, next is Blade. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I put Blade right now. Because I'm using the Arlen Light Cone on Blade. Um, and I have him E1. I think he has good gear to run. Um, I used to run him with Den Hong back before I just run to support at this point right now. And also he's very good with very good partner with Jing Liu. So, <laughs> um, 
For me, he's either S or S+, plus. depends on the investment and the team. If you're gonna put him with Jing Liu, S+, plus. if it's only him, relying on him, probably gonna be S. So I'm gonna put him in S+, plus as well, you have all of them in S+, S plus. Kafka, Silver Wolf, and Blade. Um, just, I think Blade needs a lot of investment, especially if you don't have Light Cone that can fit. That's, that's the main issue. So I'll, I just want to mention, like, characters who suffer. Uh, characters that can suffer from the Light Cone that you wouldn't have anything to fit for them is Blade and Jing Yuang. They're probably the worst characters to build without having a Light Cone for them. Um, same thing with Topaz, who just released today, but... I think I guess you have to deal with it because if you don't have the Sushang light cone or you're not gonna summon for the Topaz light cone, my advice is to not touch the Topaz banner, please, because you you basically can't build a character. But yeah, that's that's the reason why I think Blade needs a better light cone. Same thing for Jing Yuang. I hope that the edition free to play light cone from the Herter shop would really fit the character. So yeah, uh, next is Luca. I tried to use him uh, on another account, wasn't impressed, I'm considering B. Uh, again, the Nihility can do wonder if you put them all together and like build uh, build them with the right gear. I know, they're amazing. I know that some free-to-play has built a full Nihility team as I have the full Nihility, I just have the Exodia of, of Star Rail, I don't care. I'm not gonna build 4-star characters to impress uh, as a free-to-play clear uh, Memory of Chaos, I don't care. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put him in B. Uh, Den Hong, I st still think he's the best DPS in the game. He's very, very strong. <laughs> he's very, very, very strong. Um, I, I don't know. I think I, I wanted I wanted Jing Liu to be better. She's my waifu. I would always love to say that she's better, but I have to be real. I still think Den Hong is the best DPS. Uh, next character is Fu Shuang, amazing, amazing, amazing character. Uh, unfortunately for PlayStation players, they're gonna have to wait for a rerun. But if you don't have her, try to get Japard for now. She's an amazing character to pick whenever she comes back. Uh, Lynx, amazing four-star healer. I'm gonna put her in either S or S plus. I wanna put her in S plus really, just because she's really good. Uh, but I'm gonna put her in S just uh, if you don't have her E6. But for E6, I would say she's S plus. And since this is a tier list that based on S plus, uh, sorry on E6, I'm gonna put her in, in S plus. Screw this. <laughs> uh, Gwenefen, uh, I checked her kit today. I was playing with her uh, on the uh, tutorial, not the tutorial, the um, the uh, the demo. She's really good. Uh, I'll put her in S just because of what I seen that she can do. She's amazing. Uh, if you want to build a Nihility team, you know, the free-to-play Nihility, screw all these guys, just focus on Gwenefen. She's amazing. Uh, next is Jing Liu. Um, she shares the Z, of course, with Den Hong, but he's 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 number one. Uh, and last but not least is Topaz. I'm not going to say disappointment. I'm just saying that the follow-up gear set is not out yet so we can't really judge the character for now so i will put topaz in s for now until we have her set and that's it for my tier list for the end of october thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe stay safe and